Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to use Google Generative AI to automate Instagram post. So if you are a social media manager, then this automation is for you. So I want to post regularly on my Instagram account. So in a Google Sheet, I've added the post title and the image link. And by using Google Gemini, I want to generate the captions for the same. So once the captions is generated for the post, then automatically I wish to create that post on my Instagram account. Now to do this, I need to build a connection between these applications for which I'm I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to use Google Generative AI to automate Instagram post. So here my objective is to post on a regular basis on my Instagram account. So in a Google Sheet, I have added the post title, the image link and the date. So my objective is to generate captions for the post by using Gemini and once the caption is generated, then on the given date, I want to create a post on my Instagram account. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect and as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this here is the all applications page where Pabli connect. So here I will click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as use Google generative AI to automate Instagram post. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Gemini automation because this is our automation using Gemini. Gemini. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, we can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to use Google Generative AI to automate Instagram post. So here you can see that in a Google Sheet, I have added the title, link and the date for the Instagram post. And by using Google Gemini, I'm going to create the captions for the same. So here, as I want to post on a regular basis on my Instagram account, so I'm going to use Schedule by Pabli. So by using Schedule by Pabli, I'm going to make sure of everyday posting. So here I can select that how often I want to run this workflow. So as I want to post on a regular basis on my Instagram account. So here I'm going to select it as every day. And let's say here the time will be of 10 a.m. So here I'm going to select the time. So every day this workflow is going to run at 10 a.m. So here I'm going to click on save. And you can see that it is successfully scheduled. So this workflow will run every day at 10 a.m. So as I've selected that how often I want to run this workflow along with the time. So now here I'm going to click on this add action step and I am going to get the current date by using date time for matter. So by getting the current date, I'm making sure that on a regular basis, that is every day, this automation should run at 10 a.m. So here you can see that in this Google Sheet, I've mentioned the date as of today's date. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to retrieve the date in the same format. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have got the date that is of today's and the same date matches in my Google Sheet as well. So here after getting the current date, I've made sure that on a regular basis at 10 a.m. this workflow is going to run. That means every day at 10 a.m. a post will be created on my Instagram account. So as I've got the date and I've mentioned the time as well and how often the workflow should run. So now I'm going to get the details of the post from the Google Sheet. So here to fetch the data from Google Sheets, I'm going to use an action event that is known as lookup. So here I'm going to look up the spreadsheet rows and now in order to fetch the data, firstly, I have to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. Here I'm going to click on continue as this is a secure access. And the authorization is successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. 
So now moving to the select spreadsheet and the select sheet part. For that, I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet. So this here is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of Instagram post. And over here, it consists of three column title, link and the date and only of one sheet. So from this Google Sheet, I'm going to fetch the data in Public Connect. So over here, I'm going to Public Connect. Firstly, I'm going to select the spreadsheet as Instagram post. And over here, you can see that the selected sheet is automatically one because it only consists of one sheet. So now moving to the lookup column. So over here, I need to select the column from which I want to fetch the data. So here, let's say that I want to fetch the date. So over here in Public Connect, I'm going to select C as the lookup column. And over here, now I need to mention the lookup value. So as in Pabli Connect, I have got the current date which is mentioned as same in the Google Sheet. So I'm going to map it. So here I've mentioned the lookup value from the previously response which I've received from date time formatter. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So I've inserted the date over here in the lookup value. So now I want to include the headers in response. So over here I'm mentioning it as true. You can even make it as false as per your requirement. And over here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So over here, you can see that I have received a response and over here, the details are successfully fetched. So here is the row index and here you can see the title. Here is the image URL and over here is the date. That means successfully from the Google Sheet by selecting the lookup column and mentioning the lookup value, I have fetched the details of that particular row. So over here, as I've got the details. So now by using this title, I'm going to generate a caption for my post. So now as I want to generate caption using Google Generative AI, so here I'm going to search for Google Generative AI, here it is. And the action event will be to generate content. So here in order to generate the content, I need to establish a connection first. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection over here, I need to mention the API key here. So you can read this instruction given below carefully because this will help you to get your API key. So it says to obtain the API key, log into the Google AI studio and go to the API key section. So over here, I can even click on this hyperlink to reach to that page. So this here is the Google AI studio and I've already logged into my account. So here I'm going to click on this get API key button and over here, I'm going to create a new API key. So here I'm selecting the project as Pabli testing. And now I'm going to create a key in this existing project. So here you can see that an API key has been generated successfully. So I'm going to copy the same going back to Public Connect and here I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that Google Generative AI and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the text models and the methods. So here in text, I'm going to give a prompt. So here I'm mentioning it as write a short caption on and over here, I'm going to map the title from the response that I've received. So here I've mapped the title. So now over here, I'm going to select the model as model slash Gemini Pro. And after selecting the models, the method will be generate content. And here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that a caption has been generated successfully. It goes as indulge in the delights, explore the bakery's array of tempting pastries crafted with fresh ingredients and baked to perfection. Savor the sweetness. So over here, a caption has been successfully generated by using Google Gemini. So as I've got the caption as well over here in Public Connect. So now I'm going to use this caption and the details which I've got from Google Sheets to generate a new post. So over here, you can see that I have got this image URL as well. So by using this image and the caption generated by Google Gemini, I'm going to create a post on my Instagram account. So now over here in this action window, I'm going to use Instagram for business. And here the action event will be to publish photo on your Instagram account. And now in order to establish a connection, so here I'm going to click on connect. And to add a new connection, I'm simply going to click on connect with Instagram business. So over here, I've already opened my Instagram account in one of the tabs and the authorization is successful. 
So here you can see that Instagram for business and Papli Connect is successfully connected. So this here is my account. Now moving to the photo URL and the caption part. So here to mention the photo URL, I'm going to follow a process that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received this response from Google Sheet while I was fetching the data. So here I've mapped it. Now moving to the caption. So again from the response received, I'm going to map it. So basically this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as here I have mapped the photo URL and the caption, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. So this here is my Instagram account feed and over here is the new post which has been successfully created. So this here is the image and this here is the caption for this post. So that means an Instagram post has been successfully created on my account. So this automation was a successful one. So by using schedule by Pavli, I have made sure that this workflow should run on an everyday basis and I fetched the current date by using date time formatted by Pavli. So in a Google Sheet, as I've mentioned the details of the post which I want to create on my Instagram account, so I've fetched those details by using lookup spreadsheet rows and by using Google Gemini, I have generated the caption for the same and once the caption is generated, then by using the details for the post, I've successfully created post on my Instagram account. So this automation was a successful one. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.